when the tick doesn't work. In this scenario, we set up a fire on the first floor and after burning for approximately 45 minutes with the stairwell doors open, we took crews to the third floor and allowed them to conduct a search with the tick. All the other operations were conducted with relative ease until they entered this environment, only until they opened the window after closing the door to the room, allowing ventilation under safe circumstances where the flow path was not coming at them, were we able to gain any type of visibility. Due to the high amount of moisture and heat that was coming up from the bottom floor, as you can see, moving past this area where the door is actually closed and it's creeping out from underneath the door, you're not able to see. Why is that? Moisture is kryptonite to a thermal imaging camera. Water is actually a solid surface, and in many cases, the higher the moisture content, the more it'll block the infrared radiation, it'll accumulate on the lens, firefighters can't wipe the lens fast enough, and then we end up with very degraded image or poor visibility. Only after opening the window were we able to even make out the outlines of these firefighters in the event in Poland, where we showed them the good, the bad, and the ugly of tick use. Make sure you're teaching them the limitations, contraindications, and how to overcome them, and not to be over-reliant on an electronic device. You are the ultimate tool on the fire ground. Make sure you stay fundamentally sound and use the technology to help you when it works, and when it doesn't, don't be surprised. Stay intelligently aggressive.